So if you've seen my first video on Sora from OpenAI, you'd have seen that I tried to generate some videos that I could use for paid advertising. And basically when I was trying to generate this, it gave me some really bad results. The videos that were generated were unusable in terms of the quality and the context of what I was actually getting back was just not what I was looking for. Well, now at the time I'm making this video, it has completely changed and OpenAI has just released Sora 2, which has completely blown my mind at how good it is. So in this video, I'm going to show you an N8N flow that I've created. It can generate you unlimited number of video ads using a secondary API at the time of making this because OpenAI has not actually released the API at the moment. So I'm going to show you some examples show you what the NEN flow does and show you how you can get it for yourself if you think it's useful. So if that's something you're interested in, then let's get into the video. So here we are in NEN and this is the flow that we're going to be running over. But just before we do that, I want to show you examples of what I've actually created with this. So let me just show you what I've done here. So I found a random brand online. I was thinking skincare would be a good example just because I've seen so many creators with these. And um, this is lab series that I found. And what I done was I just found one of the products and downloaded the image. Um, I think it was one of these skincare, this one here actually, this skin uh, care moisturizer here. And then I just uploaded it onto Cloudinary just so that I've got the image URL that I can use later. You can use any of these hosting platforms. This is just one that's been around for a long time. So basically I can get the URL from here so I can use it in the N8N flow. And then when I upload that into here, into the form, that's when this will run and generate the videos and you can choose how many you want. Again, I'll show you in more detail in a second, but just let me show you what this has generated. So this will save your outcomes into a Google Drive folder. So I've ran this a few times here. So let me just show you what it can actually do. So let's see the first one here. Introducing Daily Rescue Energizing Gel Cream from Lab Series. Powered by Hydra Burst Complex with Japanese green tea and ginseng, it floods skin with refreshing hydration and boosts energy. Okay, so that was the first one. Again, it's only a 10 second video, but you see you could be able to use that footage um, and chop it up, even remove the voice and then use it for like a, a cut in some sort of video. Even the footage alone is worth um, the price that I paid for this. I think it was like 10 cents a run. And then let's look at the second one here. Daily Rescue Energizing Gel Cream from Lab Series, packed with Hydra Burst Complex, Japanese green tea, and ginseng to revive tired skin. Cool hydration, fast absorption, zero... Again, that's another one. Now, one thing to notice, what I've seen as well, is it did cut it off early there, but you can just remove that voice. You can chop it up, use the footage for certain parts of the video. I think, like, basically the writing's perfect on there, which is something I've never seen before on a video model. Let's look at the third one. Also very good footage. You could literally crop it up or even use it as is. Um, let's have a look at the last one here. Daily Rescue Energizing Gel Cream from Lab Series. Powered by Hydra Burst Complex with Japanese green tea and ginseng. Instant hydration, visible energy, revived... Okay, and that was the last one. And I generated this literally from filling out one form and telling, uh, telling it I wanted it like four different variations. You could put this up to as many as you wanted and the any inflow will just run through them. So one thing just to point out here, like this alone, like this is amazing in terms of what it's gave back. Obviously it does the voiceover as well, which is also quite amazing, but just this footage here alone, like this sort of cutscene. Dream from Lab Series, powered by Hydro... Like you could definitely use that in an ad creative, even if you've got something like maybe a UGC creator and they're videoing themselves and you're cutting back and forward. Like these little cutscenes can cost people a lot of money just to get them. And then you've the also got another one, Japanese green tea. like this one here, like with the sort of graphic where the, it's got the Japanese green tea coming out and, and like the background graphic. And ginseng, instant hydration, visible energy. Like in my opinion, definitely useful. The last time we done this with the first Sora model, it was terrible. So um, that's what it generates. Again, I showed you what we do. We just find a product image and then I will show you the sheet as well. So this is the sort of sheet that you get. So it gives you the brand name, the product name. This is the Cloudinary image URL. So you can put again any image URL that you, you can find or use like if you want to use your own hosting platform. This is the prompt that it actually generates. So I'll show you that in a second when we run over the NAN flow. 
And then this is the status. So when you change this, this is when it will actually generate you the video. So if I just click on this, you'll see like prompt ready, start generation, generated video, and then failed in case that happens as well. And then the final video outcome, that's the link to the Google Drive. Okay, so that's basically the sheet. Let me show you the flow here and we can run over this together so that you can see how it works. So let's run over the flow here. So the first thing at the top is the prompt generation part. So it comes in two parts. The second one is the video generation where we're basically just gonna click this one and it's gonna run through your Google Sheet that I showed you before over here. And the first one is just gonna generate these prompts. So let me show you how this works. So if I click into here, I'll just click execute step at the moment. It's gonna unpin this. And it's just gonna give you a form here. And this is the details of the ad. So the first thing you've got is the aspect ratio. So we've got portrait, then you've got the motion level. You can add more into this if you want. I've just kept it generic, but if you really want some detailed stuff going on, you can change anything. So you could want like dynamic, high energy or balance or calm. So let's just say high energy. You can also add to the mood or feeling. So let's just say luxury. Product name, again, I just done skincare. I was not sure what the actual product was called. You can take it from the website or product that you're actually doing. The brand name was Lab Series that I was testing with. So you just put that in, maybe just caps on the S there. And then the upload URL. So I was literally just taking this, going over to here and then going to copy URL, taking the original and then pasting it in here. And then the number of ads, put in as many generations as you want. So what this will do is generate you prompts. I know it says ads here, but it will generate you ad prompts. So let's just do, for example, another three here. And then I'll click submit. So once this is submitted, it will then complete this first step. So you see, this is everything that I put in here. And I'm just going to pin this for now. Okay, so now that you've uploaded everything to the form, the next part it's gonna do is analyze the image using ChatGPT. So for this, I can quickly show you what I've put in here. Just describe the product. And again, I can give you the full list of this below rather than wasting your time here. But it will list out all the things to do with the product so that we've got that along with what's put in the form as well. And then we're gonna combine that into the next part, which is the AI agent. So once that's done, it will then go to the AI agent. In this case, we're just using ChatGPT5. Um, and we've got the two different prompts here. We've got the user message, which is basically telling it everything that we put into the form as well as um, the product analyzation that it done as well. And it's combining that so that it's gonna generate the new prompts. And then the system message is basically gonna tell it what we're looking for. For now, I've put in your goal is to create a cinematic 10 second video. The only reason I've put that in is because that's what the current um, API can generate. It's only 10 seconds at the moment. Hopefully when OpenAI releases this, you can go longer because if it can do like a full 30 second to a minute video, for example, with this, then basically you're generating a full ad and then just changing things slightly in the future. But again, that's depending on what OpenAI will do with the API when they release it. So the system message just puts all of this together and then tells it what to do when generating the prompts. Next, we just split those out. So we're just making it an array and then it will append them to the sheet here. So let me just show you this in action. I'll quickly run this and show you how it will add these in. So if I go back to here and then just go execute workflow, it will start. Okay, so that took less than a minute to do. And if I jump back over to the sheet, hopefully it's populated it. Okay, and it's populated three new ones here, which you can see five, six, and seven. Then it's took the image URL and then it's generated these new prompts here. And all of these will also be different. So you see I've put these all say luxury and they'll all be different from each other. That's in the previous AI agent step that I made sure it's gonna generate different prompts. Now you see the current status is at prompt ready, which means obviously the prompt is in the sheet, but it's not actually gonna run these until you change this to start generation. So if I go back over to the any inflow, you'll see the next step is we have to click this one and then it's gonna generate the videos. So let's just run over this together as well so you can see how this works. So again, once you click this, it's then gonna look on the sheet for anything that says start generation. Now at the time of this has been uploaded, it just makes it prompt ready. So if I run that, Let's give it a test. It won't actually find anything at the moment because none of them are at prompt ready. So start generation. Sorry, these ones are at start generation. So these should be generated video. It should have updated these, um, but they're at generate video. So if I run this just now, because nothing 
it's currently got start generation, then it should basically stop. So let's give that a test. And you see it's just stopped there and not actually started running over the rest of the flow. Okay, so now what I'm going to do is I'm going to update these and go start generation. And this allows you to basically review the prompts. Maybe if you read these, you think it's just not good quality or it's just not what you're looking for. And you're not going to waste your money rather than just it generating everything. Now that you've selected these to start generation, they will actually be included in the run now. So they will actually run and generate these videos. So let me show you how the rest of this works just before we run it and show you what happens. So it's gonna loop over um, each of the items that you get. So in this case, I've done three. So it'll loop over three of them from the sheet. And then what it's gonna do is it's gonna use the API from key or KI or however you say it. It's gonna use the API from here. Again, if I click in here, all you do is sign up to this and then go to the API. And then you've got two different endpoints here. You've got create a task and then you've got query. And the endpoint is this API v1 jobs create task. And again, this will be in the, the workflow here if you want this. So basically, you're just um, using this model here and you're putting it into the, the request. So let me show you that actually in the NEN flow. So we've got the URL. Then I've got the authentication here, which is just a bearer auth. So you get that in the API that I just showed you. Make sure you've got bearer token selected when you've done this. And now you have got the body, which I've put in in JSON. And you can see I've got Sora 2 image to video. There's two versions over here. If you go to the playground, you've got text to video and image to video. In this case, we're using image to video because that's how you can actually generate a video with your product in it. And if I go back, we've got portrait selected and the quality is always HD. Now I tried this on just the normal one and it was not very good. So I would always recommend at the moment using HD. Um, and that's all you've got in here. Now what we're going to do is put in a weight. The reason we've got this weight in is because it does take a while for it to actually generate um, this video. So I've put in five minutes and it has worked well for me at five minutes. If it's not working for you, you might want to up this. If it's going slow or maybe it's taking longer then you can mess around with the time here. But I have got a fail safe, I'll show you in a second. Next, once you've waited, obviously what it's going to do is save that video onto a uh, key side and then you want to get that. So you want to pull the video so that you can actually save it or use it where you want. So we're going to use a get method and then we're going to again go back over here. It's this query here. So you're looking for the job info. We'll change it over to here just so it's the actual one. And then this is the actual um, API URL. So jump back here and you see what I'm doing is I'm taking the task ID from the previous step. I hope that makes sense. I'll show you that in a second. Then we've got this switch. So this is looking at the status that's actually giving you back from the get video. Sometimes when you try and get that video, what's going to happen is it's still generating it or maybe it's failed or it's a success. That's like the three main ones. So if it's still trying to generate that video, it will come back saying waiting. Now, if that's the case and this switch, what I've put in here is I've put in a status is equal to waiting. I've put in fail in case it fails. And then we've obviously got success at the bottom. And this is going to give us three different paths that it can go down just so it avoids like breaking the, the flow here. So the first one is waiting. So if um, it, you get back waiting, what I've done is I've just put in another wait for two minutes and then it will go back to get video after two minutes. So basically it's giving it that little bit extra. So it's going to go back after two minutes and then go back to get the video. And it's just going to repeat that if it's in waiting um, until it actually is success. Now, if it's failed, what it's going to do is it's going to just update the sheet and it's going to change the status on the sheet here to, for example, failed. It will do this automatically. So you'll know that when it's generating this, something went wrong somewhere. And if it's, if it's a success, it's going to then get that video. It's going to upload the file to the Google Drive, which is this one here. And then it's going to also update the sheet. So it's going to put the video link in here and it's also going to change this to generated video. So that's the basics. I know that might have been quite complicated, um, but this is how you will do this. And let me just run this and show you what we get after basically letting it run. Now this will take a bit of time. So I'm going to pause it here and then we'll restart it once it's actually done. Okay, and now we are back. So you can actually see that it's ran over these three times by like the three here on each of the steps. 
and then you will see that it's uploaded the file to the sheet. So if we jump over to the sheet, you can see this is the three new ones. The status has actually been up updated to generated video, and then here is the links. So let's have a look at these videos. If we jump over to the sheet, they're also in here as well. So this is the last three here. So let's see the first one. Meet Daily Rescue Energizing Gel Cream from Lab Series. Powered by Hydra Burst Complex, Japanese green tea, and ginseng to recharge, hydrate, and revive tired skin. Like okay, that one was actually quite bad. Meet Let's Daily Rescue Energizing. For a start, this is not the right product, so something's went wrong here. And then also the text here is not good, so that's actually a bad example. So let's close this one down. Let's look at the next one. Workout reset with power daily rescue energizing gel cream hydro burst complex Japanese green tea ginseng instant hydration lasting defense lab series skin care. Okay, that one was really good in my opinion. Like again, it cuts off early though because it's got this 10 second limit, but some of the footage on that is like really, really well done. Let's have one quick look at this again. Workout reset with power daily rescue energizing gel cream, Hydra burst complex, Japanese green tea, ginseng, instant hydration, lasting defense, lab series skin care. Yeah, that one's quite good in my opinion. And let's see the last one here. Daily rescue energizing gel cream powered by Hydra burst complex, Japanese green tea and ginseng weightless hydration, instant refresh designed for men's skin. Okay, that one was not bad for in terms of some of the footage, but actually it got the text wrong again at the very end. I don't know if you noticed that, like labses. So I got that wrong. This is actually the first time I've seen it make a mistake like this on um, the text. I've tested this like multiple times now, and this is the first time. I don't know if maybe they're throttling the model a little bit or something but yeah but the second one there was actually really good so workout reset with so power. One last daily look. rescue energizing gel cream hydro burst complex japanese green tea ginseng instant hydration lasting defense lab series skin care yeah, so you get the picture. So that's actually complete the full flow there. So if you want to get this flow, what I'm going to do is put a link in the description. I'll probably put it into like a school group or something like that. Now at the moment, there'll be nothing in there. So it'll be most likely just be free. You can go in there, get this flow um, and then set it up for your own business or brand and see if it works. Let me know in the comments if you've actually tested this. And if you need help with anything, again, just shoot me a message and I'd be happy to help you try and fix the problem. Thanks for watching.